okay and it's like you just don't know what to say and I don't like it if my friends or family if they don't want they kind of sometimes avoid talking about certain things or they avoid saying certain things because they think it might upset me but I don't want people to be awkward like that because I would speak openly about my dad all day kind of thing and I wouldn't get upset because I know that like all whenever anyone thinks about Rob Daly they would just smile and one thing that was horrible was when we it was my um, birthday and it was my first driving lesson and then dad was got really upset and angry that he couldn't come out and watch me do my first driving lesson that that was hard it's fine I couldn't get over anymore I was gonna hit that car oh no I'm gonna be doing clutch control up here if there's traffic clutch control yeah check me out we always tend to have arguments about indication at roundabouts no, it's give way to the right, you know. Tom! Oh, I'm really close to my mum. I was close to her before, but I guess it, when something like this happens, it makes you even closer and it kind of... We, we're doing more things together than like we wouldn't normally do. Like, she's driving with me, where normally it would be Dad doing that kind of stuff. But she's been so good with everything. The calendar for international competitions for Tom is unrelenting. He only missed one training session after his dad died. Where's he going on Friday? Uh, to Shanghai, and off we go with the World Championships. And what do you want out of that? Um, well, a steady performance, really. We've been working on this new list, obviously. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to go out to the World Championships, do a confident list. Um, he'll come away from that, really ready to, to begin the build-up into what next year is 2012, isn't it? It's come around pretty quick. Did Tom warm appear when he did his performance change after Rob died? Not really, no. I mean, obviously, it's changed our training process. So we haven't done exactly what I would have done had there been no, no problem with it in the family scenario. Um, but because that's changed a little bit, it means we haven't had the, what I would call a perfect build-up into this event. You know, I think his dad would have been mortified if he felt that, that everybody had stopped just because of the situation he was in. Um, so we, he came back and, and we've supported that, um, as has the rest of Daly. So um, I, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. And as always, Tom has managed to compartmentalise his diving side from his school life. School's really busy as well at the minute. He's doing A-levels early. He's trying to get that all finished by January. So where to now? Now we are going to school. Just got changed as quick as I could. Shoved everything in my bag. Got all the bags that I could possibly carry. I've got my diving stuff in here. My diving bag, my school bag. Got everything in it. So yeah, hectic day Tuesdays, but yeah. Now I'm going in for a Spanish lesson to start my second year of A-levels. Habla de su padre, pero sí. no dice que la familia sí. sea importante. Sí. No, no. Es mi, mi argumento, ¿no? ¿Qué harías tú si fueras el hombre más rico del mundo? Oh. Uh, tendría un, una piscina en mi jardín <laughs> <laughs> uh, porque puedo practicar el salto de trampolín. Straight back from school, Tom is packing for Shanghai. Debbie, what's it like packing with Tom to go away for a month? Um, he's quite erratic, because he'll go from one thing to the next without finishing the original thing he's getting ready for. It's hard to keep him focused, so, surprisingly. <laughs> so, um, I've just got to say, right, Tom, we're doing your training kit first, we'll do your downtime clothes after. Is that everything in there? I don't believe it. School, books. Oh. When do you do your homework? All the time, whenever I can, really. It's like full on, non stop. It's literally just. Pages and pages. Pages and pages. Are you defending your title? Yeah, this is my defending title. Well, to be honest, I think it's just about going out there trying to do my individual dives as well as possible. But then always the competitive spirit comes in and I'll end up wanting to do more than that. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Tom is practicing last minute for his driving test, but it's qualification for the Olympics that's really preoccupying him. A 
a top eight finish in China, will secure him a place at London 2012. Chubo is doing the front four and a half really well. He's doing ridiculously hard dives at the moment now, and he's doing them very consistently too. So it's, that's the main thing, is to try and put pressure on the Chinese people so that they don't really like pressure. So if you put the pressure on them, then that's when hopefully they might buckle a little bit, and that's when you have to try and take advantage of them. The most difficult thing about the front four and a half is the fact that it, there's so much dive that you have to fit in. You have to run down the board, you have to jump up steep, you have to squeeze into your tuck really tight, you have to do all of the spins and rotations. The, the G-Force is constantly trying to like pull you out of your shapes. It all comes down to doing it once. That's the thing that scares me, is the fact that I can train for however many hours you want, but it's only one of each dive that counts. Tom's greatest challenge in Shanghai is beating his arch-rival, Chu Bo. At 18, Chu Bo is only a few months older than Tom. He's already scored a record-breaking number of perfect 10 scores and is reputed to be the most dangerous contender for Tom's world title. The more volume you do on your dives, the better they are. So when you've done a new dive and you've only done them, say, 100 times, they're, they're not going to be as good as someone like Chubo, who's done them, say, a thousand times because he's been doing them for about four years. The Chinese have assembled the most formidable team ever. Over 100 divers have been put through Chinese sports camps. to be, uh, at the moment, you know, coping very well. I mean, obviously, deep down, he must be feeling it, losing a father, anyone would lose a father. It's a very difficult thing to do, especially at a young age like he is. I think he will miss Rob in the crowd. <laughs> 